We had some problems with our server uh, and also uh, on our website, uh, January and December, but that's been straightened up. So if you send any emails and didn't get an answer back, just send it back to us and sorry that happened. We had a, uh, several people that sent out emails to us and they were not returned. Okay, now uh, Alexander Lukashenko is a Belarusian politician and an army officer who served as the first and only president of Belarus since the uh, establishment, which was um, 1994. So he's been in office for about 26 years now. And Lukashenko has an authoritarian government and has often been referred to uh, by the media outlets as Europe's last dictator. Uh, elections are not considered to be uh, free and fair by international monitors. Opponents of the regime are repressed. And the media is not uh, uh, free, leading to sanctions on Lukashenko and other Belarusian officials. All right, in this video, I'm going to give you the facts on the residency by investment in Belarus and my opinion on this country. Uh, also, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year and, and uh, you're, or you have a net worth at least 1 million U.S. and you want to legally get your taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as uh, three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button at the right of your screen here and also, also the notification bell. And uh, we'll be glad to uh, get new videos out to you automatically as they come out. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below and I'll, we'll get with you and see what we can do to solve your problem. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. All right, now, Belarusian citizens had visa-free or visa-free on arrival access to 75 countries and territories, ranking the Belarusian passport 69th in terms of travel freedom. The GDP per capita uh, of Belarus is $6,500 U.S. dollars a year. Residents of uh, Belarus are taxed on their worldwide income. The taxes in Belarus uh, are at the following. There's a corporate tax rate of 18%. There's a personal income tax of 13%. Uh, there's a sales tax of 20%. Uh, there's a social security tax of 35%. And of this 35%, the company pays 34% and the employee pays 1%. Uh, you can get residency in Belarus by investing in certain industries uh, with a 15,000 uh, base amount, which is around 160,000 U.S. dollars. Uh, citizens over 18 years uh, do not have the right to, to dual citizenship. Only minors uh, under 18 reside in temporarily or permanently within the territory of Belarus who have both uh, or either parents as nationals of uh, uh, other states are entitled to dual citizenship. Now, you've got acquisition of citizenship. Belarusian uh, citizenship can be acquired by uh, three different ways, birth, naturalization, and registration. Uh, citizenship by birth can be acquired by a child if one of the parents is a Belarusian citizen or both of them are permanent residents of Belarus. Citizenship by naturalization can be uh, gained if the applicant had a permanent residence in Belarus for seven years preceding the application uh, and has enough knowledge of one of the state languages, which is either Belarusian or Russian and has a, a, a legal income and has no foreign citizenship or will lose the foreign citizenship after acquisition of the Belarusian citizenship or has renounced his citizenship. Now, the required period of residence can be reduced for several categories of people, including ethnic Belarusians, the descendants of ethnic Belarusians born abroad, people who held Belarusian citizenship in the past, and people who have had made significant contributions to the, the development of Belarus. So they do have citizenship by an exception here also. Uh, citizenship by registration can be acquired by people who've held uh, uh, USSR citizenship and were born in Belarus uh, or had a place of residence in Belarus before the 12th of November 1991, as well as their spouses uh, who held Soviet citizenship and their descendants, also a child of a Belarusian citizen, and also an adopted child. Okay, I'm going to give you my evaluation on this program, and, and it is as follows. Uh, they've got a dictator that runs the country. He's been there since 1994, which tells me this is not a free country. Uh, residents are taxed on their worldwide income. The country does not allow dual citizenship almost in all cases. Uh, it has the highest Social Security tax paid by the, this, uh, by the company owner of any country that I've ever analyzed before. Uh, you'll have to know uh, either the language of Belarus or Russian to get the passport. Uh, the passport's uh, visa-free travel is really bad. Um, you, know, you can skip all these negatives that I've just mentioned, and uh, you can get a St. Kitts passport, and it has all of these negatives I've just mentioned to you totally out of the whole picture. 
uh, and you get a lot better year-round weather too. If you make at least 150,000 US dollars a year and or you've got a, at least a net worth of 1 million US and you want to learn how to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button at the right of your screen here and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or a comment, just put it below and I'll get back with you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and hit that top bar, of, uh, any of the pages there, and it, it says apply with us. And then fill out the questionnaire form. And at the bottom of the questionnaire form, hit that little square that says uh, send it to us. And we'll get that and see what we can do to help you. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.